Allison Hemley of Chagrin Falls can't stop smiling because she's just found out two suspicious moles removed last week are not cancerous. I felt happy because they're all right and everything's fine, so I was happy. Allison is checked once a year by dermatologist Robert Haber because she falls into a higher risk category for malignant melanoma. She has fair hair and skin and a lot of moles on her body. And if you have lots of moles, and the lots of moles is a hard number to define, but the more you have, the higher your risk. The larger the moles, the higher your risk. 12-year-old Dawn Wojnarowski was served up a dose of reality last year when her mom was diagnosed with melanoma. Dawn's now at higher risk, too, because of a family history of that type of cancer. Anytime you hear the word cancer, you think the worst. The surgery to remove mom Sandra's cancer left a noticeable scar, but it was caught early. Still, Sandra worries about her daughter. She has um, a marking on her one arm that, you know, the doctor will look at, and I said, it's, it's not to alarm you, Dawn, but something like that is probably what I started out with. So the Wojnarowskis now swear by sunscreen, and the words, better safe than sorry. Sandra's skin now gets checked once every six months, and she's militant about her daughter's skin being checked once a year as well. Dr. Haber recommends if your child falls into a higher risk category or has any suspicious moles, you should have them checked over by a dermatologist. Dr. Rose Gabriel, CBS 19 News.